we were thinking about van life for a while, but then I got an opportunity to work remotely, full time. So I just bought a van, built a van, spent like nine months building it, and then hit the road back in December, just to explore Australia, just get out of, get out of Sydney, get out of Manly, just try and explore this beautiful country. We ran away from the fires in New South Wales, then from the fires in Victoria, and then in South Australia, the COVID hit. So yeah, we're here now. <laughs> five months later, we're still here. So our plan was originally to go all around Australia, basically from South Australia, obviously to WA, but the border has been shut and is not looking like it's opening. So yeah. There was a major sort of spanner in the works for our plan, but it gave us a great opportunity to explore South Australia and specifically our peninsula. Not much change for us, in a way, because we are kind of self-isolating ourselves in the van on the road anyway. But when it hit real bad, we sort of had to find a place to hold up and wait until the, the worst thing blows over in a way. There's not as many like travel restrictions in South Australia, fortunately, but we didn't want to travel around like potentially spreading it, so just for not, for, not just for ourselves, but for everyone else, kind of like we just stayed around Port Lincoln and it was big enough for us to sort of not annoy locals in terms of COVID hits, there's no toilet paper, there's no food, you know what I mean? Like there was kind of a big uh, factor in our decision as well, just to stay around here. had a big outbreak in Italy. My, my parents were like in the middle of the red zone, so it was a bit, a bit scary. And in particular, because you're f so far away, you can really come go back and see them if something happened. So yeah, it was a bit, a bit hard, but you know, now it's a bit better. So we are happy about that, yeah. Like it, it was never as bad in back in Czech Republic as it is in Italy, mm -hmm. but it was a bit annoying in a way that knowing they're going towards 70 so knowing if something would have happened it would be pretty much impossible to get there or do anything so kind of like we're just hoping for the best <laughs> 